family. Oh, we're like tilted here. Okay, so today we have a Dollar Tree haul. So the first thing is first, you guys. I found this little cutie. So I just picked one up to put in our kitchen. Sometimes I'll put them in front of the sink in the bathroom too. So not really sure where I'm going to put it. You guys, these are really thin um, floor mats. And they bend really easy. So I'm trying to keep it as flat as possible. So I'm going to let M show you guys some of this stuff because we are going to be doing a fun video for you guys on a foodie Friday to do with candy canes. Oh yes, we are. So these are the cherry sweet tarts candy canes. They're six cow. You, I think you guys can. You yeah, can that's the best they're going to be able to see. You guys, our ring light's not plugged in because we have the Christmas lights going outside. Sorry. Kool-Aid candy canes. There's tropical punch cherry and grape so there's three different flavors and there's six of them and M has a gift behind her that we're gonna <laughs> move warheads candy cane six pack there's now there's green apple black cherry and blue raspberry and then there is the now and later apples. They're in apples. Okay, they taste like apples. I almost said scented like apples. <laughs> Six count. And then before she finishes, guys, you guys, this has been on my wish list since the first time I seen someone haul them. I can't even remember who hauled them. Um, it was months ago, and our store is just now getting them. At least I think that this, I mean, unless it's different, but it looks pretty much to what we've been looking for. They're a wall shelf. I got two of them. Whoops. And this is what it looks like um, once you have it hooked up. So, I ended up getting two of them. Now, these are, I'm looking for measurements, 13.375 inches by 5.2 inches. Or, if you want to go by centimeters, it's 34 centimeters by 13.2 centimeters. So, yes, ma'am, I got two of them. Okay, um, so we picked up... The Bahama pie crust, and it's nine inches. It's a graham cracker pie crust. We're going to be um, making a chocolate cream pie. Do we call it Boston cream? Oh, Boston cream. cream. Same thing. Okay. And then we got On Yum's onion flavored rings. I've seen a bunch of you guys haul these and you guys say that they're really good they're, and I've never tried them. Three ounces, you guys. And they're put out by Rudolph's. So I figured I would give them a try. And then we found jaw magnetic clips. There's four of them. They're made for a locker, but you already know that we put them on the fridge. And you could hang like list and stuff from them because them squeeze see yeah. so and one says forever busy and the other three are pink buffalo checks so i thought that was really cute those are cute and then i'm being I nosy picked up these cheetah drawers i got two of those and i thought that these were really cute for like um to put like rings or jewelry in so there is two drawers on each one, and I picked up two of them. They're cheetah print. This was the only design I saw. It doesn't say how big it is, but it's a little. So. And then I want to share with you guys what we got in the bag. So the worker ended up putting this in the bag, and this is something new because M had asked them before she turned 18 if how old you had to be to be hired through Dollar Tree. 
and they always said, what was it, 18? 18. Well, now, because of everything that's going on, I'm assuming, and they can't keep help, it says, work where you love to shop. Dollar Tree now hiring minors. Dollar Tree offers competitive pay with flexible schedules in a fun environment for individuals 16 and older in 30 eligible states. And then it says, to apply, you can either text dollar to 58046 or visit www.dollartree.com backslash careers. So they put this in our bag. So if you guys are looking for jobs or your children are looking no, for you jobs. You know what I was just thinking now? Couldn't you hot, not to keep on the topic, but couldn't you hot glue these like together? Yep, you sure could. And then you could have it as a bigger thing. Yep. So, then, I weren't going to get one of these guys just because I have so many crafts, it's not even funny, but it was the truck with a Christmas tree in the back, so I figured I'll just paint it or whatnot, or M will, and we will hang it up. So, I did pick that up. And we found this buffalo tree. And it's black and white. Now, they did have it in red and black, yep. too. Yeah, and they're really cute, guys. And it's made out of, like, um, what would you call that? It's, like, I don't know if it says it. And it is by Greenbrier. It's light, and it is considered decor. It's almost like a... Um, Ribbon. No, because it's not cloth. It's it's like the ribbon, though, that you put around birthday presents that feels like that. Um, it's not cloth, guys. It's, like, shiny, and you could, like, dust it. So, yeah, we ended up getting that. And then, you guys, we finally found these. <laughs> so, our store finally got the naturally inspired Yardley London disposable washcloths. Um, Alcohol-free, enriched with aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin E. You get 18 large washcloths, which are 12 by 8. And you cannot flush these. I'm going to open it just so I can smell it and let you guys know. Um, I believe, I'm not positive, but I believe I saw Anna over at Only In My Dreams um, haul these. Mmm, they do smell good. Smell them. Yeah, they smell good. They're a lot bigger than a normal They're a washcloth. Wash They're bigger than Yeah, normal. you guys look. You could even, okay, I'm just going to throw it out there. If you're a penny pincher, okay, you could even cut these in half, and they would still be the size of a baby wipe because, um, look at that. That's with it folded in half. So, I mean, if you're on a budget and you don't want to use the whole thing, you could, um, oh, I'm trying to see if it's soft. You could end up cutting it in half if you chose to. You guys, this smells amazing. Um, definitely amazing. You could leave these in your car. They're just called a disposable washcloth, and they're alcohol-free. So, right there. Weren't, was there two different scents? Nope, that was the only okay, scent. Okay, this was the only scent our store had, but I think there was supposed to be two different kinds. Not sure, but I think. Yes. 
So we got the Be Mine Alley Keller's Nail Kit. Now you guys, this is interesting because I've never seen this before in my life. They're saying this is, okay, so it's first off, it's a nail polish and it comes with a nail file, but they're saying that it smells like coconut and it's called Nuts About You. And it so, starts to smell like coconut. Open it and we'll smell it. That's usually what I do. I let them it's know. so weird smelling nail polish. So she got two kinds. She got the coconut one and, and she lavender. also got the one in lavender scented. And you guys see it says scented right over here. Now you guys, if these smell good like they're supposed to, these would be good for a stocking stuffer. Does it smell like what it says? I think that smells like normal nail polish, though. What's it supposed to be? Coconut. Coconut. Does it? Okay, I'm gonna put some on my nail. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna shake it in the event that <laughs> maybe the scent went to the bottom. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some on my fingernail. And even if it doesn't smell like it's supposed to, it's a dollar and you still get a nail polish and you get a nail file. And it would be really good for a stocking stuffer. Now, this one's supposed to smell like lavender. I definitely don't think that this smells like coconut. It smells like regular. It says love is in the air nail with polish. a hint of coconut. So it's just supposed to be like a hint of the smell. Yeah, it actually does. Watch. If you're not putting your nose in the whole dry. Now this is called Nuts About You. And this is what the color looks like. It's a good fall color, guys. Now this lavender one is called Lavendary Love. And I put some on my finger. Yeah, just put it on your fingernail. That's what I did. I can't. I guess it kind of does. Yeah, it de It has a very, very. I was hoping that it would smell just like it. No, it, it, do like it doesn't, polish. you guys. And this is what it looks like, you guys. It's really light. Yeah, it's pretty, though. And then I finally found these little buggers. Now, they do have three different kinds. They have Santa. They have the snowman. And there's, like, um, beans in the bottom. Can you guys hear that? It's, like, beans in the bottom. And they had, they had Santa, a snowman, and was it an elf? Yes, it was an I elf. So. I'm not sure. And then, you guys, <laughs> my wish list. So all of my Maine is out there that watch us that are from Maine. I got these at the Augusta Dollar Tree. We finally got them in. They are glue guns. Now I ended up getting two, three, four. Because I am going to put some in giveaways. I figured I would keep two and then I would do like two giveaways. The next thing we got, because our battery is going dead of a course. Because I have done a lot of videos today. Okay, these are brand new guys. They're glue sticks. This one is fine and wide clear glue. Dollar Tree has never had these. This is a brand new thing. And then this one is a multi-purpose -pur adhesive for crafts, wood, paper, and fabric. So there's that one. And uh, let me see. This one is for... It just says clear glue, dual application clear glue. Um, so, yeah, it's just a regular clear glue. Okay. So, we ended up finding these, and these are new as well. 
um, more new magnets by Jot. They're a four pack. Now, this one is animal design, so it has a llama, a unicorn, a cat, and a sloth. Super cute, guys. And then these magnets, you all know, me and my coffee. <laughs> it says bold and strong, and then there's a coffee cup, and then there's another coffee cup, and then there's uh, like a, what do you call it? A coffee pot. Yep. I didn't know if it was a tea kettle. Or and not. our store never has super magnets, cute. so M was super excited when she seen those. Now, you guys, I am so sick of being dug by our cats. Not that they're meaning to, but like today, I'm laying on my stomach on the bed. The next thing I know, Munchkin jumps on my leg and digs the whole back half of my leg. He definitely needs his little nails trimmed because he doesn't go outside. Now, they do have a scratching post, so I don't know what the deal is, but their nails are long. So, I did end up picking up these cat nail clippers. I don't know how well they're going to work because I've never got them for cats there before. So, I am going to try those on his little nails. And then, you guys, I was super excited to find this little bugger. And this is different than last year. Um, this has the red truck with a snowman in back of it. And I think last year it was just the red truck. There was no snowman in it. I'm not sure. Now, this... You guys, we haul so much stuff that I don't even remember. Seems like it's airtight. So it does have the rubber around it. So you guys, this would be good for all kinds of different stuff. Um, if you're giving away fudge or maybe nuts or maybe a mixture of nuts and M&Ms or nuts and raisins or whatever your little heart desired, you can either use it for a candy dish on your end table or your coffee table or whatever. Or you can use it as a gift and put something in it to gift it. So these were a dollar. It does not say um, how big it is, but I like it. It's nice and... We got that. You can definitely smell it now. Smell it your fingernail now. Oh my God, guys. When it dries. That is so cool. And it dries really quick. Yeah. So what happens is, don't be discouraged if you open it up and you can't smell it. You can smell it at its best once the nail polish is completely dry. Mine smells just like coconut. That's and you guys cool. smells like lavender. You guys, that <laughs> is really cool. So, your teen would enjoy that as mine does. Um, so, yeah, you guys, that is it. So, remember, be kind, stay safe, and be blessed. And me or M, or both of us. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.